Absenteeism, um, anyone who's had an absentee sort of life in the family can kind of understand this. When I was little, my father came to visit, bringing gifts, a one-door peddler with a case of samples for his favorite customer. When I was older, I heard girls always turn to their fathers. I turned and found only boxes full of gift shop souvenirs and darling daughter birthday cards. By the time I had grown up, my father had faded to a voice on the telephone who tied up the duty trunk lines on special occasions threatening to visit. <laughs> There's a lot of guilt in most poets, I'm sure. This one's called Hobby. I started a ghost collection, just spare time dabbling for quiet evenings, carefully ordered one by one from arcane catalogs. Now they've overflowed, curling themselves resolutely around familiar patterns, shadows darkening sunny mornings. People call it guilt. I know better. I started collecting ghosts, and the collection has crowded me out. Oh, wow. I love that. Woo! That is well, I guess I resonated there. Wow. <laughs> All of you rotten people. <laughs> <laughs> Exorcism. Ooh. The occultist gave me amulets, herbs, and potions to ward off demons who's afraid of demons. I let them come and drown them in amber liquid in the bottom of a glass. They always return larger, but I just use a bigger glass. <laughs> <laughs> Leftovers. The picture album lingers like an unfinished conversation, temporarily shelved. Your face smiles expectantly, waiting to hear all I never said. Mm -hmm. This is one that Francie likes. <laughs> it's called indiscriminate. Poets can identify with this too. The Spaniard brought me language books, two Spanish records, and 500 words of miscellaneous vocabulary. The Frenchman added another language book, Camus, Sartre, Teilhard, and a new way of making love. Mm -hmm. A deep-eyed Jew produced a study of Judaism, selected poems of Leighton, and Richler's novels. Each desertion placed another disillusioned book upon the shelf. By loving, I learned to distrust without discrimination. <laughs> understand that one. Christmas then and now. He still remembers Christmas as a boy. Toys under a twinkling tree. Grandpa Santa passing out candy canes. Sugar plum fairy stories. And sneaking sips from daddy's, from grandpa's grown up drink. Now he sees twinkling toys locked behind department store windows guarded by Sally Ann Santas and remembers Christmas as a boy before too many grown-up drinks turned the sugar pump fairies into demons. <laughs>